Pony Mag is hitting the shelves this weekend, so it's full of loads of amazing content and features that are guaranteed to cheer you up during lockdown. It's my turn to do this month's Pony Mag vlog, so I thought I'd test out the quiz exercises for the Let's Bounce article. Those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that I love doing quiz, especially with Nelly, because she's a bit crazy, very inconsistent to offence, her style is a bit all over the place, so I find that grids really help me to sort her out and get her listening. Grids are a great way of teaching your pony how to find the perfect takeoff point. They also help produce a good canter and a good rhythm up to a fence. Pony span grids and especially bounces is very hard work, so make sure you don't overdo it and keep them small for the first few sessions that you do them. There's a really handy guide in the article that will tell you how many metres apart each fence needs to be. Nelly is 14 too, so I have each fence at 3.5 metres apart. I always test out my distances first by popping over the grids with the poles on the floor as it's really easy to get the distances wrong which will end in an accident or could end up knocking both yours and the pony's confidence. a really useful tool but also great fun. There's loads you can do with grids from either starting with cross pole to even alleying some straights. You can add in as many bounces as you want and even put on a curve like I've done as it's really good for balance. Thank you for watching, I really hope you found it beneficial. As you can see, mine and Nelly's good work is definitely a work in progress. <laughs> Make sure you keep it nice and simple to start off with and don't overdo it. And don't do it as confusing as me and Nelly have. We've done it for quite a while now, so she's pretty established and knows what she's doing. Make sure when you buy your copy of this, pony, this month's Pony Mag, you use my code Lily10 for 10% off.